the blood of the holy martyrs, was poured out for Christ upon the earth. Therefore, they have gained everlasting rewards. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. You're all very welcome, those who are watching by live stream. Our Mass today is offered for the repose of the soul of Alex Gromov, who died very recently, and in prayer for his dear wife Luba and his wonderful children, Amy and Joseph. Today is the feast day of the Korean martyrs, Father Andrew Kim, Paul Chong and companions and many, many others, up to 10,000 more, so we're remembering them today as well. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who made the blood of the martyrs St. Andrew Kim Taegon and his companions a most fruitful seed of Christians. Grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Ezra. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, to fulfill the word of the Lord that was spoken through Jeremiah, the Lord roused the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, to issue a proclamation and to have it publicly displayed throughout his kingdom. Thus speaks Cyrus, king of Persia, the Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth. He has ordered me to build him a temple in Jerusalem, in Judah. Whoever there is among you of all his people, may his God be with him. Let him go up to Jerusalem, in Judah, to build the temple of the Lord, the God of Israel. He is the God who is in Jerusalem. And let each survivor, wherever he lives, be helped by the people of that place with silver and gold, with goods and cattle, as well as voluntary offerings for the temple of God, which is in Jerusalem. Then the heads of families of Judah, of Benjamin, the priests and the Levites, in fact, all those whose spirit has been raised by God, prepared to go and rebuild the temple of the Lord in Jerusalem. And all their neighbours gave them every assistance with silver, gold, goods, cattle, quantities of costly gifts, and with voluntary offerings of every kind. This is the word of the Lord. Response, the Lord has done marvels for us. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. There was our strength filled with laughter, or on our lips there were songs. The Lord has done marvels for us. The heathens themselves said, what marvels the Lord worked for them? What marvels is the Lord worked for us? 
Indeed, we were glad. The Lord has done marvels for us. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. The Lord has done marvels for us. They go out, they go out, full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done marvels for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your light shine before all, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, No one lights a lamp to cover it with a bowl or to put it under a bed. No, he puts it on a lampstand so that people may see the light when they come in. For nothing is hidden, but it will be made clear. Nothing secret, but it will be known and brought to light. So take care how you hear, for anyone who has will be given more from anyone who has not. Even what he thinks he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Jesus Christ. And Andrew Kim was born just 200 years ago, a few weeks ago from this day now, and he's one of the amazing 4,000 baptized Korean Catholics who learned about the church before there were any priests there, right through the 18th century. There hadn't been any priests, then a few came. And then he was ordained in Shanghai in 1845 and was caught up in the huge persecution in Korea of 1846. The gospel today is about not hiding your light under a cover. So when Andrew, Father Andrew was asked by the judge, are you a Catholic faithful? He answered, knowing it would cost him his life, yes, I am a Catholic. The layman Paul Chong said, we have received before, just before he was also executed, we have received baptism, entry into the church, the honor of being called Christians. Yet yeah, what good will this do if we are Christians in name only and not in fact? As I say, Pope John Paul canonized 103 Korean martyrs in 1984. 47 lay women, 45 lay men, men, Father Andrew, a French missionary, missionary bishop, and others. But as I was saying, there were about 10,000 Korean martyrs altogether in waves of persecution in the late 18th and then 19th century. But their light shines forever in Korea, Asia, and all over the world. And again, we can have St. Paul Chong's question will be for us too, that we don't hide our light we could say it for ourselves, what good will it do for me being a Christian if I'm a Christian in name only and not in fact? Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Praise be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. 
with humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of his holy church. Look with favour, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people, and through the intercession of the blessed Korean martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice acceptable to you for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your mar blessed martyrs, Father Andrew Kim, Paul Chung and companions, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvellous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. <coughs> Together with Francis, our Pope, and Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Alex Gromov, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only, only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant as we celebrate the blessed martyrs Andrew Kim and Paul Chong and companions, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labour in the church for the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. And thank you for watching from live stream. Thank you.